What's up? CJ here. Today I'm answering some Reddit questions. This next one comes from Adventurous Persic, and it's about organizing large web projects. Hey everyone, I'm currently working on a large scale web project and I'm trying to figure out the best practices for organizing the code base. How do you structure your files and folders for large projects? Do you use any specific tools or patterns to maintain clean and scalable code? Any advice on keeping things manageable as the project grows would be much appreciated. So I have a couple of resources for you. The first one is Node Best Practices. So this is a Git repo that breaks down all of the things that you should care about in large production ready code bases. And you can see here in the table of contents, they talk about project architecture, error handling, security practices, all these kinds of things that you should care about in the back end. But here, the project architecture practices are especially useful because they talk about what kind of folders you should have and where you should put things. So even if you're not using Node.js specifically, this repo has a ton of really good insights and examples that you can look at. Now, another resource I have for you, especially if you're in the world of React and Next.js is called Bulletproof React. Now, this has a lot of the same principles laid out as the Node.js best practices repo, but it shows real world examples for Next.js and React. Especially check out the project standards section because it talks about some of the tooling you can use, but especially the plugins that it talks about for ESLint because there are plugins you can use that make sure you use a particular folder structure or make sure that you name your files in a specific way to keep things standard throughout the code base. So there's lots of other goodies in here, especially the project structure section, which I think is mainly what you're talking about, but it talks about some of the folders you can have, where things can live, and it shows some real world examples. Now, lastly, this one is gonna feel a little bit out of left field, but there is the Angular JS, Angular One style guide, that has a lot of good info, but especially the application lift principle. So you should be able to lift the code in your app such that you can locate the code quickly, identify the code at a glance, keep the flattest structure you can, and try to stay dry. So even this advice, which was from years ago for a technology that isn't really even useful anymore, still applies to front-end and back-end code bases. And for each of those acronyms, it gives some folder examples where you can see what they actually mean by this. So hopefully all those resources are useful. Let me know in the comments, how do you structure your apps? Where do you go for guidance on this kind of thing? All right, I'll see you in the next one.